Hi everybody, so my take on blazers today, I'm actually popping out two. Um, I have on a really thin hooded sweatshirt, which is something I actually love using under blazers because I think it makes everything a bit more casual feeling. Um, but all these things you don't need to do with a hoodie. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun way to show a different take. But I've got two blazers today. This is kind of one of those great sweater jacket ones. So super stretchy. I have really wide shoulders. So jackets can be tough on me. Um, this one is by Adolfo Ramiro. I'll link it. Um, but I, it's a Spanish designer that I got in when I was in Portugal. And I... I'm obsessed with their stuff. Um, but it's super stretchy, it is double-breasted, so I can wear it this way, it kind of pulls in the back. Um, but the main reason I bought this blazer was I liked that it was double-breasted, but it still cut in really nice. And the really big reason was that it was shorter. I constantly am talking about how people need short jackets, not long jackets. Um, so this, you can see, is ending above my tush so it's cutting in at a great spot so whether I want to wear this with jeans like what I'm wearing or if I want to wear it um, with a skirt or a dress I can wear it with all of those things and I think it just makes it feel a bit more casual um, so swapping out real quick um, I've got your traditional blazer behind me here um, this is one by Reagan Bone that I bought last season it's linen um, they are like the only actual fitted blazers that I can fit my arms into. Um, I just have really wide shoulders, but I really like the way there's fit and I didn't have to get it taken in at all. This is off the rack um, as is. So the one thing I wanted to point out about this, so something like this again I have on with heels, I would love to wear this exact outfit with sneakers, which I think would be super fun. Um, but when you're choosing a blazer, you want to always make sure that the button is hitting you at your waist and not at your bust. That's like a huge issue when I'm in people's closets is they don't buy a long enough lapel. So you do not, you want these pointing to where you're smallest. You do not want them ending. You can see even just how I did that kind of chops me in a bad spot. So you always want to make sure your lapel is going to your waist. So laser 101. Two takes, traditional, like it. I'll do this with a tee or a fun um, shell all summer long for appointments. If you're meeting with me, hopefully soon, <laughs> you'll see me wearing this because it's one of my favorite spring blazers. All right, thanks everybody.